Hello, welcome back to Altius Plays Sky Vaults. I'm Altius, this is my Sky Vault, and I thought today I'd play a little bit with this snad thing to see if I could figure out how to get a, a contraption that will break the snad when it grows and then cause it to grow again, which was basically one of the, the big troubles that we were having, was that, sure, you can break it, but how do you make it grow again? Because then the snad doesn't know that it's got something to do. So let's make a little enclosed space so that we can contain the water so that it will allow me to plant the sugarcane in the first place. And then I think I'm going to have to have some sort of combination of observers and pistons. And we'll see how that goes. I recommend when you're in your actual overworld and not a vault, just use a pick. Use whatever's appropriate to the thing that you're doing instead of something that can do everything. <laughs> because if you don't, you're just going to end up breaking everything all the time, and it's very frustrating. My golem has disappeared. The first question is, does a change in a redstone torch remind the snad that it should be growing something? So if I put the torch down, yes, right, that, that's known. That was expected, if not known. So we can put a lever on here. Now the lever should be enough to, let's put this here. So this lever will change the state of the torch, right? So torch not there, lever off. Snad, forgotten, snad, remembered. Great. Snad, forgotten. Snad, forgotten. Snad, remembered. Great. Is that repeatable or is that an accident? That seems repeatable. Great. That seems to be step one of the plan. Do you not agree? So then the next thing we can do is take this piston, put it, oh, I hate pistons, <laughs> put, put it like this. So, <clears throat> Nad remembered. What we need to do now is put this on here. Okay. Now that should transmit the redstone signal from the torch through the block to the piston. Correct. And then when you retract it, the change in redstone signal reminds the snap to do something. So this is a very manual way of doing it. Let's see it seems to work. Right? That seems good. Good start. How are we going to get a redstone signal to this block because this lever now needs to be a redstone signal from something else and i think the thing we want to do basically is whenever we get well ah, hmm. how fitting it's also chucking it down outside oh it's stopped the weather in the uk recently is actually ludicrous i had washing out it was nice and sunny nice and windy to get it going. Brilliant. Oh, I'm very happy with that. Oh, no, it's checking it out. Oh, no, it's stopped. Come on. So if we do this, I would expect... Ah, yes, of course, that's going to be on. We need an inverter. Okay, now I just need to trigger it to start with, maybe? Give it, like, a kick. It did pulse. Did you see that? I don't think I'm fast enough. How do you set it off? That's the thing. You, th you might need an AND gate, right? Or an OR gate. Hmm. Because what I'm trying to determine here, let's do it differently. What I want to know is when this block changes, that should flash, right? No. <laughs> oh, it doesn't. So we might need an extend. Uh, oh, well, that's not powering it. Oh, never mind. Hang on. Not sure about a vanilla mechanic, but if I put a block of redstone down. It should be emitting a redstone signal, right? Yeah. If I put now a lever on this, it does not appear to emit any less of a redstone signal. <laughs> I thought maybe you could toggle a redstone block 
to not emit a redstone signal. It seems a little bit like, you know, asking a leopard to change its shorts. It's not gonna, not gonna do it. Right, so there's a delay on the repeater, which should give us some time to watch what it's doing. Currently outputting. Because this is not outputting, which means this is on. So we do this. Okay, that didn't. So we, let's do it the opposite way. This is not outputting. That did output a signal. So for some reason, the inverting the inverting of that was unsuccessful. So <laughs> this is off, which means if we have a piston here and use this signal, nothing will happen, which is correct. No, it's not correct. So we know that that's detecting the thing, and we know that a piston here... will harvest some when it gets the signal. Now, we need to invert this still, because otherwise it's not going to harvest until no that's wrong isn't it we don't want to invert this when this sees something it should pulse the piston and update the thing so we do need to invert it because we're going to invert it again right of course so the way you make a redstone signal affect a redstone torch is to make the redstone torch be on the other side of the, of a block but you need to get the redstone to go into the block which is the most frustrating thing because you can't get redstone to turn a corner unless you actually turn a corner with the redstone so we might have to go i find this very tricky oh hang on if i'm powering that and then i do that Ah! That works. And the way you stop it is to just break any part of it, right? Okay. So what we want is... We could probably use a lever, actually. Hang on. Let's put this here, for example. And now this is permanently powered. So this will do that, but then nothing else. Because now it's never going to retract the... It's never going to extend the piston again. Because this lever is preventing it from doing so. But if I turn the lever off... That works really well, actually. I, I invented a redstone contraption. You have to collect it yourself, but, you know, you have to turn it off. So who cares? But you don't have to turn it off. Because the whole point of this one, right, is that when the chest is full... It turns itself off, which is what the comparator is doing. So we need a sort of collection system here. I, I kind of don't care. Right, because we can turn it on when we need it. We should probably surround this by a collection system to prevent the sugar cane from going in all funny places and what have you. I can't be bothered. We can probably do the same trick as this, right? Because the reason this worked is because the cactus can't grow next to something else. So it pushes a fence into the cactus to make the cactus break off. This doesn't need it. This just needs to be broken by the piston itself. But if we wanted to move everything to the side a little bit to make some breathing space to collect things around the sugar cane, we could still put the piston over there and make it a sticky piston and push something, like push a block into the sugar cane. It will still work that way. And if that's a sequence of slime blocks, you can push multiple things. You can stick them together with slime blocks. So we could we could improve that. But I'm pretty pleased with that, actually. Basically, off the top of my head. <laughs> it's, I'm making this sound like a great achievement. People have made amazing contraptions with vanilla redstone. But me, as a not-vanilla player, is I am not somebody who I would expect to have been able to come up with something like that. But, you know, trial and error and experimentation. We've, we've done well. Okay. This one's full of taters. <laughs> Why are you full of taters? What is happening? Are you pulling potato? Are you collecting? Why are you full of potatoes? Where are you getting potatoes from? Is it this? No. You should be full of potatoes. 
We should remain full of tick. How is this hopper gaining potatoes? This one's full of potatoes. I don't understand how potatoes can go from there to there. This certainly can't pick up any potatoes from up there. It's far too far away. I guess we'll see. Just looking through the recipes, it looks like we're going to need a huge amount of Larimar for Xnet. But most of the stuff that we're doing is okay. There's not a lot of things in here that are so expensive that I don't think we should do it in the first place. Um, advanced connectors. Yeah, for example, nothing so far has required a POG. Just a lot of chromatic steel, chromatic iron, and Larimar. Energy cell is okay. Casing is okay. Again, chromatic steel, we're going to have to collect a lot of that. Maybe this is uh, ambitious not because of the amount of knowledge it needs, but because of the amount of steel it needs. Reactor, again, lots of Larimar. No POGs so far. Kind of impressed with the Vault Hunters team's restraint in not making these things require like a POG for everything. <laughs> Now, the one thing I've noticed about Xnet is it doesn't actually have a requester system. It's for automation, but there's no um, there's no terminal that just lets you look at all the items in your network, as far as I know. But what you can do is you can tell it to bring you stuff just by configuring it, right? So it's not ideal, but maybe you could sort of... Like, let's say you wanted potatoes and they're over there. You could put a button that says, give me potatoes. <laughs> put potatoes in the chest for you, so you don't have to go and get them, but it doesn't say, you know, open this inventory, here's literally everything you own, uh, and you can just pull potatoes out of it. It doesn't work that way. Right, we're doing any vault. Our, our, our bounty is to complete a vault, so hopefully it's not a difficult one like, um, like the scavenger vault, which we've been seeing a lot of, so there's a chance of it. While we're waiting, um, commenter, which was Tristan, as they all are, said that these have a number of uses, which I now see is written directly on it, and it's obvious. Every time you go into a vault, it drops a use. So remember to take it off if you're going into a thing like a raw vault, because you don't necessarily want to use that in a raw vault. Um, apparently, yeah, look, you can swap it out here as well. So I'm actually going to do that. Magnet on. Water. In bucket. Thank you. Let's not forget that. We've got all the right things in the right places. This has got enough durability, I think, for a while. So, fingers crossed, I suppose. Hello. Thank you. Okay, so we got a bit lucky and a bit unlucky. We've got an elixir vault, which, as we know, means just do everything, and you should eventually win. We've got a trapped vault, which is a curse. Um, similar to a lucky vault, except bad for you. It just means that there's more traps in trap chests. Ah, uh, press the R button again, that Rudo shaders. Look, it doesn't take too long. Uh, plus plus five percent chest trap chance. So it's not it's not onerous. No, it's not gonna be that massively noticeable, but I think it will take its toll to some extent. Uh, and we do only have to complete it. We don't have to kill, for example, zombies, which is good because it's not a zombie <laughs> sort of place. Don't know why I insist on making a sculpture noise in this particular place. Whenever I break a, a wooden chest. This seems a little bit unnecessary. But still wooden, surely. <laughs> it's disconcerting. Ooh, a dungeon. I see. I have to get into there then. Remember, permanent death. <laughs> to buy his stuff back, so don't die. Easy. As long as all the traps are poison traps, I really don't like... Oh dear, that was nearly a disaster, wasn't it? This is why you don't want your pick that opens chests to also destroy the ground, because then it destroys the ground and throws something in the lava that you didn't know was still there. Oh, Minecraft physics, eh? Oh, hello. How? Stop it! I can't even clear that stuff! <laughs> it won't let the water go underneath, but it'll let the items be dead. Alright, fine. Well, halfway done, and half a room. More than halfway done, in half a room. So I think, again, probably a bit of an OP elixir vault where we get everything done in one go. Although, to be fair, we did find a dungeon which was full of chests. And if chests are... If chests are the thing, 
then it bobs your uncle, right? Another situation where you really don't want to be breaking the thing that you're standing on by accident. I feel like I'm noticing these extra 5% of traps, but <laughs> why? Found a, an exit. It's in the second room. And there's a pylon up there for health. One stone. Plus one strength. Oh, I didn't know that strength potion. That's awesome. It must be, maybe it's a level thing? Because I was thinking that the only things we'd ever seen as pylons were, you know, health and mana. Gates! Oh, <laughs> made me jump IRL. Oh, that was terrifying. Uh, we are done. We can leave whenever we like. So, depending on scared you're feeling, you can leave now. But I'm going to keep playing. Right, now give me some cool rooms. I don't need to do anything else. Ooh, a bounty of living chests down there. Let's go for them. <laughs> Doing. Ah. Gives you plus one temporary heart. Ooh. I'm guessing that's four in the vault. So. Let's turn left then right. Try not to get too lost. Ah, the problem is we need to remember where the lodestones are, not just find our way to the I guess it's a problem and a benefit. Hey, these are cool. Four stones. We don't just need We don't need to know where the exit is. We need to know where a lodestone is. So we don't need to remember our way back. We just need to get lucky and find one on the way in. Yeah, like that. Look. As long as we find lodestones as we're exploring, looking for the cool rooms. It doesn't matter where the exit is. Nice. So we'll keep doing that, maybe. <laughs> yeah, just rely on luck. What, what could go wrong? Spending a lot of time looking for something cool. Rather than just looting. Yeah, screw it. I'm going to loot. I've given up looking for a... Sweet room. I'm going to go back this way until I know where the lodestone is. I'm just going to loot around that room. Bit of a waste of three minutes, but what are you going to do? Right, lodestone in here. Let's just loot this room. And then the next room, if we think we can afford it. Good plan. What do we say about cutting it fine? <laughs> Who said don't? Fairly sure. Just got a pog from a mystery box. But can you do that? <laughs> I don't think I got it from here. Look at the things you have to recycle. You can craft one. And it's some treasure sand. I don't know if it'll tell you if something comes from a mystery box. I don't think it does. It's possible that anything from the treasure sand can come out of a mystery box, but... I don't know. But that's brilliant. We've just got a free pog. I have nothing to do with it. But that really puts us ahead, actually, in terms of uh, looting from the vault. That's going to be really, really helpful. I'm very happy with that. Um, since I've got you, I found uh, another dragon relic. We don't have all of it yet, but we're on our way. That's pretty good as well. I found the problem. Somehow, all of the beetroot here has been transmuted into potatoes. Who did this? <laughs> now. What happened? How is this a thing? Where, where did my potatoes go? Where did my beetroot go? Is, did I do this? I have no memory of this place. So we pick this up. Did I accidentally... Like, can these farmers replace crops? Is that a thing? And, and I just sort of let it happen and didn't know it was going? It's possible. It's entirely possible. I better plant these and wait on the crystal. Well, how many do you need? You, only, you don't need all of them. So, you have those. And then we'll plant these. And please stop making potatoes. Illegally. I'm flipping making more flipping potatoes. Stop it. How are you finding these potatoes? You see? Beetroot. No, these are potatoes. Do you see the problem? These are beetroots. These are not beetroots. Do you see? 
Are you collecting theirs? Somehow. Are you somehow managing to pick up potatoes at that birth? Surely not. That doesn't make any sense. Are you out of potatoes now? I'm going to have to watch this person until he stops growing potatoes. I'm not entirely sure he will. <laughs> there may be an issue here. If you know the issue, please let me know. Is this happening because of these potatoes? Because of the, the, the other one down below is not growing potatoes. Better not be growing potatoes where they're supposed to be just wheat. That always seems like wheat. Guess we'll, I'll, I'll just babysit it for a while. Do we want to mine pay night ore? Do we want to try and complete scavenger? Do we want to kill zombies? This one's easy, but it doesn't have any real value. So I'm going to re-roll that one. Um, kill drowns in the vault. This got some okay. Eh, it's a rubbish gem. 24 emeralds could be okay. Five, 25 blocks of amethyst. Again, the reward is not that great. Let's see if we can. Uh, pro tip, don't, um, <laughs> don't break your amethyst cluster with a silk touch, or you'll just get amethyst clusters, which you have to use create to break. That's 63 blocks of amethyst right there. Because it's only four for each. That's good. That's, that's really decent to know. Because now we can activate this. Win it. And then activate something else. I'm still tempted by... Am I tempted by this? No. Because the reward's terrible. Am I tempted by this? Kind of. It could be hard. Black opal's quite rare. Let's re-roll this one. Let's... Oh. I haven't claimed it, so it keeps... <laughs> there we go. The chromatic steel is quite valuable. And a bunch of chromatic iron doesn't seem too bad. Yeah, too bad. Uh, uh, hello. Why don't we have a chat? Why don't we get none of this? A brain coral block might be useful. Because I don't see any other way of getting coral. Let's buy that. How are we doing on... Um... How are we doing on knowledge? Why are we being attacked? There's one more. We're actually getting very close to the number we need in, in, in this to get our both of our awesomely awesome... Uh, mods done at the same time. So actually, I I was kind of double guessing myself about whether it was a good idea to do this, but the speed at which we're getting these knowledge essences is great. So I'm I'm not too fussed anymore. All right, let's go back into the vault. Do we need any one of these? I think this will survive. Oh, hello. Um, I guess we'll see. If it doesn't. It doesn't. Oh well. These days I'm not entirely too bothered about whether I successfully remember to do everything before I go in the vault, although we should at least remember to take a bounty that involves going into a vault. So we might as well... We might... Let's be honest. <laughs> Gather a... Ooh! All these bennies. That seems really good. Let's see if we can force an elixir vault. This is going to be... Eternal... Okay. So this is the value of the seals, of course. We can now force ourselves to... I've already used the, uh, the key to... to afford... <laughs> okay. Let's hope for an elixir vault. <laughs> and then if we don't get one, we'll make another one and force it to be an elixir vault. How does that sound? That sounds good to me. Oh, it's monoliths. That's okay. Chunky mobs. Plus 10% mob health. Oh dear. <laughs> Two rooms, two monoliths. Pretty good. Ah, a challenge room. So let's explain this one as we do it. Um, each of these is a trap. They have uh, baddies in them, but there will spew a lot of baddies at you, but they have ores in them that you're likely never seen before. And so we know the type. It's just like the cactus room, it's just like the TNT room, it's going to be spiders, vindicators, and the occasional creeper. But look, is that an echo gem? I believe that's an echo gem. No, it's <laughs> Have I got an echo gem? Well, it, 
Annoyingly, knowing this room is here, we could have taken the pay night, um... The bounty for pay night, huh? But, you know, it's, <laughs> it's likely that we'll find something here. We did find something here. But th this room is not as challenging as it used to This room was always fizzle spawning, to my knowledge. Um, but now that we're forced... Don't need to be quite so worried about it. Ashen. Oh, some of the rare gems here. That's really good. Very, very helpful. This is a room that we died horribly on in early game <laughs> in our stream. Uh, it, it can be very unforgiving. You need to make sure that you've not uh, triggered more than one, maybe two at once. You know? Oh, no. There's another one. I'm going to die. Run away. <laughs> Let me out. Poisoned. See, that would have been game over in a previous life, but somehow we survived it. We don't need to complete this vault, we just need to survive it. What we need is all these amazing ores. Oh no, it did break. That's a shame. The trouble with that is these are now no longer being uh, silk touched. So I'm actually going to be getting the gems. And it's not a fortune pick, so I'm not getting any benefit from breaking these. Well, I'm getting a bit of benefit. But... Could be more beneficial, let's put it that way. Just give me a monolith in the middle of the room look uh, and we'll move on and say no more about it oh thank you look. ask and you shall receive right nothing ventured nothing gained right oh, i mean right find the exit so now we go back home and loot the first room don't hang out here that's the thing right uh, i was very tempted to just make that mistake i didn't you shouldn't we left the first room on purpose okay just allow it to Follow the natural course. Don't don't try and loot the room you finished in, even though it looks really tempting, because you've got to get back. So you know how much time you got left if you get back first. <laughs> Giving away your secrets there, game. Should we do something else? No. Probably not. Shall we? No. I don't know. No. Uh, let's not risk it. We don't need to cut it by and we said we shouldn't because it's scary and, you know, people with a nervous disposition don't like that sort of thing. I don't know. Sleep. Um, we didn't get the elixir vault that we wanted, which is because we didn't, you know, ask for it. So we can make that happen with our next crystal. That's fine. Are you still here? Hmm. I don't think it's that great. Uh, nope. Nope. We could use that now. This isn't too bad as the next one, is it? But it's in plus it's a bit rubbish, actually, never mind. Uh, similar problem. Okie dokie, I think that'll do it for this episode. Thank you for watching. I think next episode we really want to press on towards gaining even more knowledge points. We're going to get our elixir vault done. We've got two unspent skill points. We'll decide that next episode too. And hopefully our potato our beetroot farm will no longer be growing potatoes. But thank you for watching again. Until next time, I've been Archus. This has been my Sky Block World. And I will see you around.